Hello, my name is Jim O'Donoghue. I'm a member of Leicester Drama Society. Uh, my association with Richard Attenborough occurred when I was manager here at the Little Theatre between 1978 and 2002. Uh, Richard used to often visit us. Uh, each time he called into Leicester on his various duties at the university, he uh, used to often call in middle afternoon and have tea with us in the bar. We'd get him cakes and sandwiches and he'd love to talk over his association with the theatre and his experiences with us uh, in the just the pre-war years when he appeared. He appeared in, uh, as Lucius in Julius Caesar, and he was also instructed by Moira Haywood, who helped him get into RADA uh, in the early 1940s. This is where he started, and he always had a great affection for us. His mother was uh, chairman of uh, Leicester Drama Society for a period of time in the 30s. Um, she uh, encouraged both him and his brothers, uh, who all appeared in various productions here at the theatre. He has always been very good to us, if one could use that word. He gave of his time on a couple of occasions where he presented a night uh, in the theatre uh, and also his life in films where we were able to sell the seats uh, and he came and gave his time entirely uh, free of charge uh, in the theatre. Well, of course, we sold out both performances quite quickly. Um, he also has made various donations over the years. He, g he gave us a, a round sum of £10,000 on one occasion to, for us to do as we wished. He'd got no, he put no strings to that at all. He's always been very, very supportive of us over the years and has been our life president now for a number of years. But he always enjoyed his time here. Um, it was always very simple and uh, straightforward. Uh, he just enjoyed being here amongst us and he'd talk uh, with us as if he was just an ordinary member. Uh, I do remember on one occasion, his son Michael was directing a play at the Haymarket and he and Sheila Sim, his wife, uh, it was a Saturday evening, thought they'd just pop along to see if there was anybody around to have a chat to. Um, the building seemed to be deserted. The front door was open. They nipped in, uh, went, crept up the stairs and found out there was a dress rehearsal going on in the auditorium. So they just sort of uh, popped into the back of the auditorium, sat and watched the rehearsal. He, he visits us quite a lot in the city and of course his Embraced Arts is doing very well at the university and he's also donated his, um, a lot of his pottery to the museum in New York so, um, from, by Picasso. Uh, apart from that, uh, he's put our, our name on the map I think in no, numerous ways. He, w he was very tactile. Uh, I, I mean, I remember at the, at the time of the opening of the lift, I was chatting to him and we moved towards the lift for him to cut the ribbon. And he took my hand and uh, just escorted, or I escorted him across. He, I, I saw him do this quite a, a lot of times. It's well known that his expression for everybody was darling. Uh, I had a Scots lady working for me in the office and uh, she was just over the moon every time he came because he would always approach her, give her a big hug and a kiss, which he did basically to everybody. And uh, it was a wonderful, warm feeling, although we know he can't just know you so intimately and so well. It was just that warmth that he always exuded when he met you. He, he always seemed to know you and uh, it, it gave you a nice feeling. Yes, he's very, very tactile, very tactile person. He used to sit there and whoever, whichever lady was sitting next to him at tea, he'd hold the hand.